Yeah, go ahead. Well, thank you for coming. My name is Magali Valentin. I am not your HR, but my my uh, my colleague Elizabeth Russo. Uh, she knows that I was doing this uh, presentation, and she asked me to do it for you guys. And I said, Yeah, sure, why not? So I did not ask this in the last meeting, but I want to ask now. I forgot to do that. Is everybody here under our medical coverage of planning to take our medical co coverage? Mm -hmm. Okay, I just want to make sure that I'm not wasting your time because if you don't have our coverage, you don't need to know this. Yeah, so like and if you're not planning on having our coverage either, so so everybody is on the know on that. Yeah. Okay, so the reason why I'm doing these meetings is because I feel like uh, there's going to be a lot of big changes coming <coughs> on January 1st of 2017. Uh, many of you already got your packets. They came out like two weeks ago. Open enrollment started uh, October 20, uh, 31st. Um, and I know for a fact that a lot of people get the packets, they put it in a mail pile, and they don't mm -hmm. look at it. And then comes January, you go to see your doctor, and you start getting bills that you never got before, and that's oh. when you start calling HR, trying to figure out why are you getting all these bills. They're gonna give us bills now? <laughs> <laughs> so that's why I'm here, to show you what those changes are, okay? So I'm gonna be talking about the changes that are happen happening January effective 1st. January 1st. In case you need to start doing any adjustments to what you do now, and you're on the know rather than waiting for January 1st, you, you're gonna know now, and then you could do whatever changes that you need to do. So the major changes that, the reason why we're doing these changes is because like I said, we're trying to contain um, the, the high cost that continues, not only here, but nationwide, when it comes to medical coverage. Uh, by making these this changes system-wise, we're saving money and we're bringing money into the mix and we're bringing in to the mix $18 million, okay? Uh, so one of the big changes that are happening is how much you're going to be uh, co-paying when you go to the emergency room. So the co-pay is gonna go up from $100 to $150. Yes, $50 more. So one of the reasons why we do this, and every, I wanna say about two years ago the copay went up, is because it, it is very expensive to run an emergency room because everything is on demand, it's not pre-planned. And everything that happens there is very high, it's costly, it's very expensive to run a, an emergency room. The other thing is we wanna make sure that the people that go to the emergency room are the people that actually need to go to the emergency room. If you have, I don't know, you cut your little finger or something like that, you have an earache, your hair hurts or something like that, you don't want to go to the emergency room. You want to go to your primary care physician, you want to go to the total walking clinic, or you want to go to the urgent care. Those are the three different venues that you have available to you when you need to see a doctor rather than using the emergency room. Um, that doesn't mean that if you have an emergency not to use the emergency room. By all means, if you have an emergency room uh, uh, need, you do go to the emergency room. If you get admitted, the $150 copay it gets weight because then you're, you know, you get admitted to the doc to the hospital. The other thing I want to um, point out is that in the past, we have told employees we don't care from where your primary care physician comes or you know your primary doctor. This is the doctor that you go whenever you're ill, to have your uh, checkups and things like that. In the past, we did not care, but that's gonna change starting January 1st. If you have a primary care physician that is not affiliated with partners, it's gonna cost you double the amount to go see that doctor. So instead of $15, it's gonna be $30. Um, so if you're someone that has um, an illness, let's say that you just found out that you have high blood pressure and you gonna have to go see that doctor a little bit more often until they find the right mix of prescription. So it's gonna cost you more each time you visit. So let's say you need to visit that doctor four times in order for that person to adjust your prescription. It's gonna cost you $60 more, okay? Because it's double the amount. So let me give you an example what is out of network means. That means, let's say Beth Israel is not affiliated with partners. Um, San Elizabeth is not affiliated with partners. Tufts Hospital is not affiliated with partners. So in your packet, 
there is a list of all the hospitals that are under the umbrella of partners those are the hospitals that are affiliated with us so if you go to see those if you go to get your care through those places your cost is going to be lower and it's going to be contained okay is anyone here has a primary care physician that is not affiliated with us so. no Children you do is not affiliated partners, right? uh, that's correct so hi. where hi where, where, where is your you doctor affiliated with I have no idea. You have no, no idea. He, she's not. Like she's partners. not. She's not partners. So we. It's not that we're not telling you that you cannot go, go continue to see your doctor. What we are telling you is that it's gonna cost you more. That's basically the bottom line. You make the decision if you want to dish out more money out of your like pocket. Her. I like her. So okay. So I but stay. but like I said, what I'm saying is gonna cost you more. That's that's all I'm saying. I'm not saying to stop seeing them. It's just that it's gonna cost you more. No, say somebody had an out-of-network out of doctor and they wanted to change and make it in-network. Is there a list? So if you go um, on, you know, if you go to the partner's website, there's a way for you to, to look by uh, location. And it, give you, it gives you a list of doctors that are actually taking patients. If you need further assistance, you could call the benefits department and um, someone could probably assist you there as well. Okay? The other um, changes that we're going to be having is if you go out of network again, your coinsurance is going to go up by 10% higher. Um, we're going to be also increasing um, the cost of high cost imaging. So the copay will go from $150 to $200. Um, the prescription drug mix is going to go up in the second and third tier. So what I mean second and third tier is here and here. The first tier, which is generic drugs, is ten dollars. That copay is not gonna go up. It's just the second and the third tier. The second and the ter third tier is usually for more highly cost prescriptions or prescriptions that are non-generic, meaning that the brand name, so they are they cost more money. Um, the other thing that's very important, and I don't know if anyone <coughs> here is gonna be affected, is that we are going to take away, we're eliminating other plans that we have in the mix now. So we're gonna take away TOFS healthcare coverage and we're also gonna take away Harbor Pilgrim um, healthcare. Um, so anyone that has any of those two medical plans, they will be asked to transition to Blue Cross and Blue Shield. And if you are affected by that, I'm pretty sure you probably know by now because you probably have received a letter in the mail. So is anyone here affected by that? No? Okay, that's good. <laughs> so if you look side by side in the two different plans that we have, Partners Plus and Partners uh, Value, on the first column, once again, you know, if you're within the network, um, the copays for the medication will go from 10, 30, 50 to 10, 35, and 60. And like I told you before, the emergency room will be from 100 to 150 dollars. If you're out of network, um, your primary care physician visit is going to cost you double. So it's going to go from $15 to $30. If you have a high cost imaging copay, it will be increased to $200. And the, the coverage that you currently have at 100% is going to be reduced to 90%. So for the person over there, excuse me. If your primary doctor hospitalizes you, it's going to cost you 10% more to, to, to be um, going to that hospital. Just want to make you sure that you're no, no longer, I, you're I not longer going to be covered 100%. So out of the out of network tiers will go up again uh, from 500 to 1,000 to 750 to 1,500. On the other side, on the partners value plan changes, um, the prescription and the emergency room uh, increases are exactly the same as Partners Plus. Um, the emergency um, the emergency copays will go from 100 to 150, um, and like I said before, if you get admitted, that's waived. And another question that came up is, if I get admitted to a hospital that is not my hospital, would I would I have to pay more? Well, you will not. It will cover 100% because it's an emergency and it's completely out of your control with the, you know, where you get admitted because it's an emergency, okay? So let's say you have, I'm just making that up, let's say you have a car accident and you know, you're know you closer to Whitton Hospital and 
the ambulance by law is going to take you to whatever closest hospital is. And let's say you get admitted there, uh, the coverage will be 100% because it's completely out of your control where you get admitted. Um, where it's not 100% coverage is if you have like a, a persisting surgery that you pre-plan, but you choose to go out of network, for that you will pay more because that's, that's the choice that you're making. Uh, for non-preferred network tiers, again, you know, the increase in patient, this is for kindness value, for hospital copay will go from 250 and it will be double, it will go up to $500. Uh, for an office visit to your primary care physician, it will go to, from 35 to 50. Uh, if you go to see an, a specialty doctor or therapy office visit, the copays will go from 50 to $70. Uh, outpatient surgery uh, will go from 200 to 250. Um, the high cost imaging copays will go up to 300, and this is going to be a reduce on your coverage. It will go up. It will go from 75% coverage down to 70%. And then the network tiers will also be increasing from 750, 1500 to 1000 to 2000. And then they're also going to be a reduce on your co-insurance, which will go from 65 to 60%. Any questions so far? No. Okay, so I'm going to give you a test at the end. <laughs> so if you look at the two uh, illustrations here, it shows you again um, on the top the Parnas, the Parnas Plus, side by side, with a network and outside of network, so that you could visually see what's the difference. Um, if you have like a primary care physician, I mean you go see your primary doctor. If you're with a network, the copay continues to be $15. If you go out of network, it will be double, it will be $30. If you're hospitalized and you're within um, the network, it will be 100% coverage. If you go out of network, it will be only covered at uh, 90%, and then you still have <coughs> two more payments. You have a copay of $250 and a deductible of $250, <coughs> and you will be responsible to pay the remaining of that, 10% of that. For the emergency room, it doesn't matter where you get admitted, it's gonna be 150 across. Like I said, it doesn't matter where you get admitted, it's $150. If you, if you go to be inpatient, that that goes wave and then you'll be covered at 100%. Uh, and then the out-of-pocket maximums, um, that's gonna continue the same, there's no changes to that. You look at the bottom part, uh, the point is value changes. If you're within network, your primary care is this set will be $35, um, that's not gonna change. But if you go out of network, it will go up to $50. If you got hospitalized, it's an 80% coverage with a 250 copay, meaning that you have a 20% out of pocket that you need to come in, um, that you will be responsible for. On the other side, if you're out of network, the coverage is only 70%, that means that you're responsible for 30% of whatever that bill might be. And then will be a $500 uh, annual deductible and also a $500 um, copay. If you have a high cost imaging, um, those are like specialized testing like CAT, PT, MRI. If you're within network, um, you'll be at 100% coverage. That means you don't have to pay for that. If you have a test like that out of network, you have to pay $300. Um, the emergency room again remains the same. It's one hundred and fifty dollars, regardless of whatever it is that you get, you know, you get taken to. And then the out of pocket maximum, there's no change for that. That's gonna continue the same. Any questions so far? Okay. So for just for illustration purposes, the rate sheet that you see there is based on a forty hour employee. You know that if you have less than forty hours. Um, the credits and uh, get prorated. And so, you know, whatever it is that they, the hospital gives you to offset the costs is gonna be prorated by, by, you know, by how many hours you're working. Um, so for just for purposes, if you look at this credit, this is a credit that has a different name coming January 1st, they call it something else now, but it's still a credit that we're giving you. It's just that we changed the, the, the name of it because by federal guidelines, we couldn't call it what we used to call it. So it's called the opt-out credit now. What that means is that this credit is given to you 
regardless of whether you have medical insurance or you don't have medical insurance. That's what that means. Seventy-three dollars. I'm sorry. Seventy-three. So and then the flex salary credit. Uh, that's different for everybody because that that goes um, that's attached to how much uh, you get paid on a weekly basis. So what they do is they use whatever you get paid on a weekly basis and then multiply that by this formula here and then that tells you how much money wise you're gonna be getting. And you will see that in your paycheck <coughs> down in there. Um, and then the medical credit um, is the same for everybody. I'm only basing on the employee only because as you go across increases. Um, so let's say for example, you chose Parnas Value, you're a 40 hour employee. Uh, the premium for Parnas Value based on an employee only is $155.37. We deduct the medical credit, which is $146, and it gives you the, the, the cost of what's gonna cost you out of your pocket, which is $9.37, and that's not counting the other credits that we're giving you. So sometimes people don't, don't, they don't understand that, but for some employees, the longer you're here, the less you pay out of pocket, and sometimes it goes, this goes to zero, so you don't pay anything for your medical insurance. And so those credits get applied to anything else that you use. So for example, if you wanna take dental, or if you wanna take vision, if you wanna take LTD, or you wanna take any other stuff, those credits will be applied for that, so it will be less of what you're paying out of your pocket. And that ends my, my presentation. Do you have any questions for me? No questions? Okay. Dental price is dental twice. Is the, How come that's partner major? Plus, no, partner plus is, is uh, double price than uh, partner value. Because the coverage for partner's value is less. When you have partner's plus, everything that you have is coverage at 100%. The only thing that you pay is, is the $15 to pay. That's all you pay. Good plan. It's a good plan. If you have partner's value, there's always a percentage that you have to pay out of pocket. So you pay less premium on a weekly basis, but when you go see your doctor, you need to come up with more money out of your pocket. So it's different for everybody, you know. It depends on everybody's, you know, preferences. It depends on what budget do you have, you know. So what might work for one person might not be the same for you. So it's, it's a personal decision to choose which, which plan is best for you one and fix you needs, okay? Any questions? Everybody good? That's Thank it. you very much. Thank you. Very good. If you have any questions, call you HR business partner, okay? Oh, yeah. And your manager or um, those that could give you that phone number. Oh. Thank you very much. Thank you. You have a nice day.